Hi there, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Richard. And in this video, we're going to talk about reading maps while flying the Aerolite 103. And there are three kinds of maps. The first one is built into X-Plane, and you use it by hitting the M key, and up pops a map. Let's go. All right, there it is. No? It's come. There it is. Yay. Okay. So uh, there are four buttons over here that uh, allow you to uh, bl uh, increase the size of the map, okay, and center it. And you can, um, uh, I'm sorry, I guess it's decrease the size of the map, zoom in, I guess I should call this. So I can zoom in and see my, my airplane is sitting on the end of runway 5 of the KGYH uh, airport. And there's the Greenville Downtown Airport, and that's the GSP airport, and there's another little small private airport right there. And so you can use this, even though it says VFR sectional, it's not really a sectional, uh, but you can use it to find airports. And so if I zoom back out, and you'll see a lot more airports dotted around the countryside here. Um, I think that's Shelby up there. And we've got uh, Anderson down here. And it looks like we've got Greenwood down there and so forth. Okay, so there's lots of airports around. And it shows you, and as you fly, the advantage of this map is it's going to show you exactly where you are in the flight. Um, it's nice to have this compass rose. Let me uh, blow up the map a little bit here. So zoom in. So the compass rose doesn't change, but you can read these. Uh, that's a three-mile range, and uh, that's 30, 60, 90 heading uh, magnetic. And so if you wanted to go over to say here, that's about, if you just look from here about to there, it's about a, uh, 0, 07, 0, 075, something like that. So you can sort of estimate where a particular direction you would head um, and then follow along on the map here. Okay, so that's the internal map. You can't see roads. All you're going to see is airports. <clears throat> the other kinds of maps they have are uh, low altitude, high altitude, which are useless for this little uh, airplane. So that's the map. I'm going to put it away. I'm going to hit pause now and explain the other two maps. So I've shown you the first uh, way of having a map while flying. And the second way, the first way was the um, map built into X-Plane. The second way is this VFR sectional. Okay. So the VFR sectional um, has a lot of detail in it, but you can't believe everything you see. The yellow areas that you see are cities, and those cities just don't show up. So in the upper right part of this map, you see an I-85 sign, and you can follow it down all the way to the lower left side where there's another I-85 sign. And so I-85 goes up there from Cowpens all the way down to where it exits uh, just south of Easley at the bottom of the map. And in between, there are other roads that are not well defined in terms of uh, names. Uh, below Fairmont there, you can see the I-26 going south. And I don't think the other uh, roads are, are named on this map. <clears throat> so it's good to use, good to have, um, but it's mostly for the airports and what's in between and what to look for. So this is a map that I get off of my iPad, and it gives more details, like a street view of uh, the general area that I'm interested in, and this is uh, the Greenville area, and bottom center you can see the Donaldson uh, Airport, and at the top center you see the Greenville Downtown Airport, and you can see a, a I-85 loop around 
uh, on the sort of south side of uh, 85 and on 385 north of 85, it uh, loops up and around into downtown Greenville. So those are the three maps that I use. Uh, each have their advantages and disadvantages. The map inside X-Plane has the advantages. It shows you where you are in relationship to airports, but not much detail on the ground. The uh, VFR sectional does, show you, does not show you a lot of detail, uh, except for maybe where the airports are. And um, it doesn't show you where you are on the ground. Um, and finally, the last one uh, from my uh, street view uh, from my iPad gives you a lot more detail, but still doesn't show you where you are. Uh, there are solutions for this, uh, which I'll, will be coming up in uh, future videos. So in future videos, you'll see me using all three of these maps while I'm flying and how I use them. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.